Before you enter a gather office or meeting, you'll see the check your hair screen. This allows you to adjust your microphone and video settings or your hair before you talk to anybody. Under the microphone options, you can select which device you want to use for your microphone and speaker. For the best experience, we recommend choosing a different device for each one. If you're working in a noisy environment, you can turn on background noise reduction, help get rid of some of the distractions. If you're already using a microphone with built-in noise cancellation, however, this setting may reduce too much noise, in which case it's better to leave it off. In the video options, you can select your camera device along with any video effects. Background blur is great for distorting your background, or you can use a full background image. We have a few you can choose from, or you can upload your own. There, instant home makeover. After you enter the office or your meeting, you can adjust all these same settings right from the bottom navigation bar. If your camera is on, you can hover over the small preview and either expand it or pin it to the bottom if you want to keep an eye on yourself. For more advanced options, open settings. As you adjust things, you can test your audio by playing back your voice. This can help you pinpoint the best devices and settings for your specific setup. Once you find the right combination, if you want to skip that check your hair screen when entering this space, you can use this toggle to immediately enter in the future. The last setting I'll mention here is being able to hide your own camera when you're talking to others. When this is toggled on, you won't see yourself in meeting or map view. If it's toggled off, your own video will display right next to your colleagues. And of course, if you ever need to change these settings, you can do that at any time.